And we are a hurricane weary nation. And yet tonight, another powerful storm is headed straight for the U.S. At this hour, Nate is speeding up and gaining strength. Right now, heading into the warm waters of the Gulf, states of emergency across the Gulf, the system already deadly before arriving. 22 lives lost. Preparations underway at this hour, and there are now some mandatory evacuations underway. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z with us tonight because this will not only hit the Gulf, it will then travel, you say, right up through the country. Up through the Northeast. And so we've got to watch for flash flooding potential all the way through Pennsylvania, say. But let me take you straight to the map, David, because the Yucatan Peninsula is showing that storm just east of them now. This thing is flying at 21 miles per hour to the north northwest. Hurricane warning in place for New Orleans. Gulfport, Biloxi, Mobile. Tropical storm warnings extend to Pensacola and even inland there. The brunt of this storm will be felt Saturday night through Sunday morning. That's when it is going to make landfall. Then it speeds up through the Ohio Valley into the northeast and out by Tuesday. But before that, the impact storm surge four to six feet anywhere in red. The Mobile. Gulf Shores up to 8 feet and then up to 10 inches of rain along the Gulf Coast. All right, tracking it into the weekend. Ginger, thank you. And in the crosshairs of this storm, New Orleans and the low-lying cities right along the Gulf, dangerous flooding and as Ginger just said, storm surge is likely. And this question tonight, are the pumps ready in New Orleans? ABC's Steve Osinsami is there. Across the Gulf tonight, this is a state of emergency and they're racing to get ready for this storm. We're going to flood. I know we're going to flood, and that's why I'm here. Otherwise, I'll be still at the office right now. In New Orleans, they're especially worried. A dozen of the city's drainage pumps that they need to keep the city dry aren't working tonight. Teams are out this evening clearing drains. In parts of Orleans, St. Bernard, and Jefferson parishes, more than a 1,000 families are being forced to leave their homes. One of the greatest threats to this storm is not necessarily interior rain, but storm surge. Billy Ross is leaving tonight. He's moved everything off the ground. You don't know what the surge is going to do. If you don't pick it up, you lose it. This, this is like a gamble. Three it's feet of storm hands, surge and he's fine. Six hands. feet, he loses everything. He's expecting five. I mean, you only can do so much. You can't run from water, baby. The storm has already killed at least 11 dead in Nicaragua, eight in Costa Rica. Dozens more are missing after mudslides washed away homes. And Steve joins us live tonight from one of those pumping stations in New Orleans. And Steve, you were telling us that those pumps can actually pull out an inch of rain in an hour? Yes, David, but that's just during the first hour. After that, the ability of a pumping station like this one behind me drops to about half an inch an hour. And that's, of course, assuming that all of these pumps are working, which would surprise just about everyone in the city. What that means is that if several inches of rain fall over New Orleans all at once, this city will still flood even with all of the pumps working properly. We are thinking about that city and every city along the Gulf tonight. Steve, thank you.